Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investors International Limited. Here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. I'll start with the euro against the dollar. A reactionary bullish long white marabozo yesterday, after last Friday's immediate countering bearish dark cloud cover pattern. The base of the action was on the previously highlighted widespread and somewhat diaphanous congestion zone between 97.22 and 96.20, with a smaller zone below between 95.23 to 95.40. The key elements of these two are the October 2002 low at 96.85 and the August 22 low at 96.20. Meanwhile, the top was capped, unsurprisingly, by the December 2002 low at 98.55. Overall, and despite the move higher, the market is still following down within the late June to mid-August bearish shift pitchfork, in between the middle time below, currently at 96.25, and the upper time above, currently at 99.23. This pitchfork is an offshoot lower from the earlier big old January to May 2021 bearish Andrews pitchfork. Now this venerable pitchfork had shown the way lower for so long. Just above the upper time we have the closely allied declining short medium moving average currently at 99.53. Finally, for what is worth, we have the lower time currently at 98.55 of the big old broken January to May 2021 bearish Andrews pitchfork, which is just above that December 2002 low at 98.55. So far today, a small attempt higher over the December low and the lower time of the big old broken bearish Andrews pitchfork. This attempt higher has not stabilized as yet and we've pulled back down to what looks like an indecisive doji cross right now. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. An immediate countering bullish opening white marabozo and bullish double yesterday after last Friday's bearish harami. This was the first attempt at testing the combination overhead of the upper time, currently 13, 113.67 of the mid-September to early October bearish shift pitchfork. The March 22 low, 2020 low at 114.02. The October 2016 flash crash at 114.5. And a light congestion area from March 2020 between 114.5 and 118. The action, though breaching all but the March 2020 low, still failed to close over any of them. A little above, we have the declining upper time, currently at 114 and three quarters of the broken June to August bearish Andrews pitchfork. It seems this pitchfork is still resonating in the market, despite having been broken three weeks ago. And a little above, a little above that, we have the paralleling and declining short medium moving average, currently 115.29. And a little above that, we have the paralleling and declining medium moving average, currently 118.13. So far today, well, an attempt higher up to the March 2020 low at 114.02, but so far a failure to push through and now a pull back down, back under the upper time of the mid-September to early October bearish shift pitchfork. We're in fairly free territory now until we get down to sort of the 111 area at the moment. Euro sterling. A really interesting piece of action yesterday. On the surface, it was an indecisive spinning top. However, it could also be seen as day two in a two-day descending hawk pattern. Now, traditionally seen as a bearish pattern, though the jury is still out on this pattern's efficacy. The market pierced down through not only the base of the market's recent action, that's the rising short-medium moving average, uh, currently at 86.36, but also the parallel, parallel running lower time, currently at 85.89 of the April to August bullish Andrews pitchfork, and the nearby slowly rising medium moving average, currently 85.94. However, prices recovered enough such as we only had a close just under the April 2020 low at 86.69. Overall, and yesterday's action is in fact a good example of this, we are overall still within the same previously mentioned bullish April to August Andrews pitchfork in between the lower time below and the middle time uh, above, uh, currently at 88.62. So far today, a slightly lower open and a dip down again to the short medium moving average below, but then a seemingly significant move higher over the April 2020 low. 
Further above, we have the April 2021 high, 87.19, which has been tested and we're testing right now. Uh, but that had capped the market last Friday, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. US dollar against Indian rupee. A bearish engulfing pattern and key reversal down, if only on just on the latter. Made yesterday as the market gave an open and a close and a whole range outside and below the lower trend line, currently 82.72, of the recent rudimentary bull channel come ascending wedge pattern. And that's currently 82.72 to 83.78. So, it is time to look at possibilities on the downside for this pattern, assuming of course it's not a false break lower. I have to say what I have been saying for days now, I continue to have limited confidence in this pattern, only because it is just a little too steep for my liking, but also because the market seems to be hesitant after breaking lower. Nevertheless, it is what it is. So, a primary possible downside target X would be in the 81.37 area, with a secondary harder to reach target in the 79.17 area. This all comes with a big, big pinch of salt. Looking below, we have some congestion in the 81.45 to 81.50 area, but it is of recent manufacture formed over the turn of September into October. We also have the old broken upper time, currently at 81.77 of the early June to early August bullish shift pitchfork emerging from within that congestion. I'm also not too keen on this pitchfork support right now, obviously because it has been broken in the past and will be, at best, a shadow of itself. Though I take the point that it may be better working in conjunction with the congestion. The only issue is that it's moving away higher at the rate of two pesos a day. Now, so far today, a lower open with what seems to have been an attempt down towards the broken upper tine. Once again, not that enthusiastically and also not managing as the markets pull back up again recently, though not as high as Friday's close. US dollar against the Brazilian real. An immediate countering bearish dark cloud cover pattern yesterday, after last Friday's quite large bullish engulfing pattern, if only just on that. To me, it was a somewhat surprising attempt lower, given that the market was within a fairly free zone between below the 50% Fibonacci line at 527.37 of the May 2020 to April 22 move and above the 61.8% Fibonacci line of the March 2021 to April 2022 move at 538.13. Prices punched down through the 50% Fibonacci line but stalled in their drive lower soon after and ended up closing just over the 50% Fibonacci line at the end of the session. Overall, despite this drive low, the market is still within the late May to late August bullish shift pitchfork, in between the lower time below, currently at 5.17.82, and the middle time above, currently at 5.50.10. This bullish pitchfork is the current key driver here right now. Now, one other thing to note, we had a false golden cross, I've mentioned already, but we had a false golden cross, a brass cross, if you will, on, Fridays, on Friday last week of the medium moving average, currently 520.77, over the short medium moving average, currently 519.70. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A counter-reactionary bearish harami after last Friday's bullish white soldier, and I suppose reasserting the power to a certain extent of the recent key reversal down and even earlier immediate countering bearish dark cloud cover pattern. Just also to remember, we had an outside week last week as well. Personally, this smacks to me a little of interday indecision. Contradictory actions on successive days without really going anywhere. Anyway, prices were once again interestingly supported by the broken upper time currently at 1993.81 and once again capped by the declining short medium moving average currently 20.04.42. Going back a moment to this bearish broken Andrews pitchfork, it is mainly redundant being overtaken by the bearish shift pitchfork for the same move, despite the middle time below, currently at 1984.88. Yet, I suspect it may still be significant. You see, the reason I've taken pains to highlight these two times is that about a week and a bit, they will cross over. And for those who know me, well, that is when I say, look out. Look out for one or more of the following. A change in trend. A reinforcement of an existing trend. And or vol volatility. These usually lag the crossover by a session or two. 
but it's worth watching out for what happens on and around the 28th of October. You can see the crossover within the red circle on my daily chart. In the bigger picture, the market has been base building since mid-August, between roughly 1990 and about 2020, with occasional forays outside. This is still the picture, with the current short-term incentives still being lower, but overall no significant feature developing in either direction. Or at least that is what I'd normally say. However, I am starting to look at the action since August as possibly having elements of a rounded bottom which includes the rising bump from three weeks ago, even if it's not such a great looking pattern. So far today, a little dip further down today, almost, but not quite touching the middle time, but then reverting back up to look like an indecisive spinning, well, doji cross possibly even now, either an indecisive spinning top or possibly a doji cross. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives you essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.